Welcome back aliens this is Navin Reddy from Telescope Learnings and today we'll discuss something about design patterns. Now you know when you you can build your own software right of course anyone can build a software and to, to develop a software what we should know is programming language right and one of the best language to learn so that you can build a software is Java of course right. Now let's say you want to be a software developer so what you will do you will spend one week and then you will learn Java and the next week you will start making softwares awesome right but when you build a software you have to face lots of problems now these problems there are some problems out of this which are very common problem which are which which, it, which are faced by lots of software developers so what if if you have a common problem can we just solve it and then anyone having the same problem can use that can use that solution of course right we can do that provided that's not a domain problem example when you're working on a banking application so that's a different domain when you're working with uh, maybe a social networking app that's a different domain but if you talk about the conceptual which is object oriented conceptual problems we can solve that with the help of some common solution and now also throughout the industry we have some professionals they provided something called as best practices and we, we call those best practices as design pattern so it all started in 1994 uh, so there was a book by four people and in which they have mentioned the principles of design pattern or principles of object oriented design patterns so their main motto was just to so whenever you have a object oriented software the first principle was you should always prefer uh, composition over inheritance and the second principle was whenever you code, code for interface, not for the implementation. And depending upon these two lines, they created the whole set of design patterns. And these four people were commonly known as gang of four. Kind of like goons, right? So we have gang of four people. So we have these four people. And now, so they have defined some design patterns. So and we have just classified those design patterns into three sections. So we have the, uh, the creational design pattern, we have structural, and then we have behavioral. So we have lots of design pattern, right? So now, if you want to build a software using best practices, follow this design pattern. But there are two questions now. The first question is, should we know all design patterns? And the answer is yes, you should know all the design patterns. The second question, should we implement all these design pattern? Of course, right? So let's say you're, you're, when you're building a next software now, you will be using all design pattern, right? Hold on, uh, that's not the case. You should not use all design pattern in one software. It should depend upon your requirement. Look at your requirement. If your requirement says, we want to create an object, how to get an object? Then we have to follow creation design pattern, right? Let's say I want to write a software in which you want to compose objects. So let's say you have an object inside that you want to include one more object. Or if you have an object here which provides some features, you have object here which provides some features and this object wants to use this object. Then we have to work with structural design patterns. The third one is, let's say you have two objects. We don't want to compose them, but we want to make some communication between those two objects. At this point, you have to use behavioral design pattern, right? So it all depends upon your requirement. Don't rush, off, don't rush to use design patterns. Think about your logic or think about your problem. Think about your software problem. Try to solve those problems with the help of best practices, which is design pattern here, and you can use any of this. So approximately we have 13, 23 design patterns. We have some more, but this is basic design patterns you have here. Okay. So let's start with the first one. We have creational design pattern. So in which you have six or uh, five design patterns. Uh, one of the, my favorite is factory pattern. So when you, if you're working with spring framework, if you're working with hibernate, you, you know about what is factory, right? Uh, then we have singleton. You can create only one instance of a class. Amazing, right? Don't no one use it now. So we have all the design pattern here for the creational because here your concern is about creating the object how to create an object maybe using factory maybe using singleton so it's all about creation of the object the next one is structural now what it means uh, so you, if you have uh, again two objects and you want to compose this object inside your object then you can use structural so if you are an android developer if you have worked on swing you might be knowing about adapter design pattern right we, after with this we have lots of design patterns one of my favorite is Fasad. You know, in uh, in Hindi we have this Kahawat. Sare Fasad ki jari yehi. Sare Fasad ki jari yehi hai. That 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 Fasad design pattern here. Uh, if you don't know Hindi, that's okay. That's what a weird Pakao joke. Okay. So we have a uh, structured design pattern which we have six. Uh, we have seven design patterns here. The next one is behavioral. 
uh, in which you have I don't know, I don't know how to call this. I guess this is eleven design patterns. So uh, in which we'll talk about observer design pattern. We'll talk about. Uh, Visual design pattern. So we'll, we'll try to cover all the design patterns. I will try to cover everything, but basic ones will be there. Okay, just just to make you understand how to use design patterns. So this is design patterns, and if you want to know the uh, actual implementation of it, that we'll see in the whole series. We'll talk about one by one design patterns. Okay, so make sure you subscribe the channel so that you will watch all the design pattern. And thank you so much for watching. And if you have any doubts, any concern about design patterns make sure you comment so that i will try to answer that questions